forth, back and forth. What were the key parts of that game, do you feel, that you were only able to get one point out of it? Um, I feel like uh, when we when we kept it simple, we just played behind them. Um, they, they couldn't keep up with our pace. Um, we have a fast group, and when we're putting pucks behind their D and making them turn to go get it and get on the forecheck, they struggled to break out. Um, and then I think when we started to try to force plays at their blue line, um, soft stuff through the middle, um, gives them easy offense. Um, we knew they wanted to try to get behind us in the neutral zone. And, um, you know, a couple times we, we let that happen because we were sniffing offense. So I think, you know, a 3-1 lead, we got to manage the puck better, be a little smarter, um, be a little more aware what's what's going on behind us. Um, with that being said, I, I loved our our, uh, our compete and our determination to, to claw our way back into the game and find ourselves another lead in the third. Um, and then same thing, we, we kind of did things that hurt us um, towards the end of the game there. And then obviously in overtime too, they, they get a power play. And um, I think, they're going to score um, when you give them too many looks like that, too many uh, too many power plays, and um, yeah, I think tonight's game we we beat we beat ourselves. So it's a, you know frustrating one, but um, we got a quick turnaround, another chance to get back on it tomorrow. So got to flush this one and, and move on. And um, silver lining is we got a point out of it. So um, got to take that with us and, and keep things moving. You get Jason back in the lineup. You get your two goals. I mean, just how good is it to see him? back out there doing the things you can do. Yeah, he looked great. Um, moving his feet, creating plays, um, taking pucks on that. Um, you know, when he's he's doing that, it creates a lot of trouble for their team. And, um, you know, I think obviously when you're playing in their own zone, less time you spend in your own D zone is always great. So um, nice getting him back in the lineup contributing, and um, he looked great tonight. How did you claw your way back into it? Because when they went up, I mean, it was Melkin's first, all the energy, all the emotion. I mean, it seemed like that might have been it, but you guys got back in it, obviously. Yeah, a lot of energy, uh, a lot of emotion for them when that happened. Um, I think for us, the, the main thing was getting back to what we were doing in the first. Um, I think our first period, they, they had no life, no chance. Um, and that just goes back to smart puck placements on dumps, making sure that we have guys above them in the neutral zone. Um, obviously, we're a lot faster team. Um, you know, they're a veteran team. They, they got a lot of smart players over there, and um, they're going to sniff for offense and try to get on the, the other side of you. So I think for us, it was just trying to stay on the D side of them, not giving any free offense. And from there, we'll get our turnovers, and we'll go the other way. It's just it's like kind of getting your feet caught up there with Malkin at the end. I mean, how sickening is it to sit in the box knowing that it just happened and watching that? Yeah, you know what? It would be easy to blame the refs. Uh, but at the same time, we did a lot of things to hurt ourselves in, in that game. Obviously. It's a call we probably would have liked to have back. Uh, I'm just going in there trying to hit him, and he tries to jump out of the way. And I feel like that plays happens at least once a shift. Um, but it is what it is. Um, you know, obviously it happens. Um, there's a lot of other things we could have done throughout the game, though, to prevent it even going into overtime. So um, at the end of the day, you know, we kind of did it to ourselves.